Hi guys, so this is going to be a tutorial, um, I'm going to try and keep it under two minutes if possible and this might be part of um, some tutorials that I do called Did You Know, something like that. Um, let's just go to uh, a water mesh, uh, trees, 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 plants, well, I, want, I want the liquid, liquid, and I want the fountain, so I'm just going to paint the fountain here, as you can see we've got a fountain, and if I create a cube now, and bring it to the side, we've got no interaction whatsoever and that uh, paint effects is just going straight through. So rather than creating any kind of dynamic setup, you can now just select a paint effects, select a cube, and you can go into the rendering tab, into paint effects, and you can click make collide. And now if I bring this cube in to the paint effects, it collides. That's one of the handiest tools I think I've come across. Um, obviously the same thing works with grass, if you paint some grass and create a um, shoe and push it down to the grass, exactly the same thing happens. So let's just quickly do that, if we can do that within the time, grass, astro turf, there you go, let's get another cube, where is it, quick, bring it over here, select the grass, select the cube, paint effects, make collide. And now if I just select the cube on its own and push it in to the grass, you can see we are getting some collisions. If I hit if I just bring this up actually, you'll be able to see that better. See, it squishes it down. Probably could use some thicker grass to show you what I mean, but you can see it. There you go guys, cheers! Just about under two minutes. Thanks a lot, bye bye.